Hey guys, so today we do have a new phone from Motorola. This is the Moto X4 uh, phone, which uh, I'm a big fan of the X series back in the day, uh, all the way from the X1, uh, the X2, and then we did have the X Pure, uh, I think X Style, and the X Play. So this is the X4, the latest in the X line. As you can see, very nice blue box here, uh, coming with some mid range specs, which you can get for about 250 euros where I am so very affordable and um, we're just going to unbox here have a look at it see what's on the table oh we have some tape here Motorola seal of quality and this is the phone so let's just get it out here, have a look. Uh, so we are getting uh, dual cameras here it seems. And uh, 60 megapixel front facing cam. Water resistance. Uh, 8 core processor. 3000 mAh battery with your turbo charging. So quite a nice proposition here. Got to say, look at that. Uh, very uh, nicely built at the back. Looks way more expensive than it should be. Uh, so you can see we do have minimal branding as well which is pretty good to see, no Lenovo on there. Uh, we'll just peel this off and that is the screen. So I don't think it's a bezel-less display but you know I'm not too fussed really as long as it's got a quite a nice expansive display. We'll just put that there and have a look what else you get. So in the booklet stuff I'm sure this is the same thing you used to read me. Maybe read that. And your turbo charger, turbo power, very fast based upon my experiences, and your cable. Uh, so, no headphones in the box, but they do have to obviously make some cuts here and there. Uh, let's get it booted up here. See the start shot. I think uh, Motorola just recently updated the phone as well to Android 8, so that's very nice. So we're still using the same startup as the last Motorola that I checked out, which I think was a G5 or G5 Plus, one of the two. Uh, I don't think we have AMOLED display anymore, which is a little bit disappointing, but hopefully this IPS display isn't too bad. Uh, so we're just going to quickly go through the setup here, just zoom in a little bit. So let's uh, not use any networks for now. And uh, privacy, does that even exist anymore? I don't think so. Skip everything here, fingerprint sensor, very nice. Turn off location. And we're all set. So this is the display as you can see and that uh, is the max brightness here looks very decent indeed and has the typical Motorola circle some pre-installed apps as well like LinkedIn, Outlook so I think uh, Microsoft's got its paws on this handset uh, so you can see as I said not AMOLED but very decent in terms of viewing angles I think the brightness could be a little bit better overall on first impression, let's just make sure the uh, auto brightness is off. So yeah, it's off. Turn that to 10. And let's see the Android. So 7.1.1, by the way, I think you are getting Oreo here rolling out for this phone. So that is quite nice. Uh, the camera is also quite interesting on this one apparently. It's coming with like a wide angle lens apparently and all these like smart features that you can do so let's just see here the interface uh, so typical size 12 megapixel and where is it depth enabled uh, professional mode so some good stuff here so let's just see if we can get something uh, so let's see I don't know if it's going to work, but it could do. So this 
should say it seems to be a little bit slow than what I would like. We see it took about two to three seconds to take a shot there. Uh, but the actual quality here seems very uh, decent, if unremarkable. I do remember the old Moto X uh, was pretty bad in terms of the camera, so anything above that is set up. Uh, so I think it does 4K video recording as well. Let's just double check that. So where, where is the settings again? There it is. Video. There you go. So that's quite nice to see on this price range. Uh, so I'll probably check out the camera, see how it compares out and about. They should have a look at the stuff here that you do get on the device. So you get one wallpaper, which is a bit mean. But, you know, it's quite a nice one nevertheless. Uh, the phone feels quite uh, responsive here, you know, coming in and out of stuff. Uh, I think it comes with 3 gigs of RAM, so not the highest, but as you can see, it seems to push the Android quite nicely. And that uh, is what you need, really. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do some videos on this one, checking out the performance. Uh, just a quick unboxing of Moto X4. If you've got any questions, let me know. Hope you found the video helpful. And uh, is it your sim? That is another question. Let's just see. <laughs> it could be dual sim actually in some markets. Let's just get a pin because that could be quite useful for some people. Uh, so let's just go here. I think it supports, yeah, so it supports your micro SD. Uh, but not dual sim, I don't think, in this market. So yeah, quick video of X4 uh, by Moto. Hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.